A lot of times people with disabilities are abused by a caregiver or a family member. Depending on the disability, depending on the disability, um, they may be heavily be uh, dependent upon that caregiver or uh, family member. Mm -hmm. So my question is, what steps can that victim take to get help? That's a really great question. Um, the first thing that I would say is to seek support and seek okay. safety. And it's a very difficult question because every situation is so individual. Um, and rape victim advocates, we are what we, what we call survivor-centered, or some other folks might hear it as client-centered. Yes. So what we do is we, if someone connects with us, we will say, what do you think is the best thing for you to do? And we'll try to help them through whatever choices that they make. So I think it's really important because if someone is being abused by a caregiver, they might think, if I call this place, they'll try to make right. me leave right away, or I'm not ready for that. Or where am I going to go? It, absolutely. Who's going to take care of me? And those are very you know, valid questions. So what the first thing I would say is to seek support so that you can know that you're not alone as a survivor or a victim. This kind of abuse happens to many mm -hmm. people. Um, it's not uncommon, unfortunately. And so it's very important to know that you're not alone and know that you can have people behind you right. to help help you make those choices, let you um, know what your options are, what are your rights. I think um, starting with those steps, mm -hmm. um, we can go from there and try to seek healing and, and help in the future. Yeah, because every situation is different. Um, so, I mean, that also is a point uh, thing to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. Um, and one thing I want to ask is I was on your website and I noticed that there was like a volunteer opportunities yes. to get involved um, in this, you know, this huge problem. Um, could you talk about the volunteer opportunities with Rape Victims Advocates? Sure, sure. Um, so with Rape Victim Advocates, we do have a volunteer program. And um, for anyone, for our volunteers, uh, typically become state certified rape crisis counselors. Mm -hmm. What that means is that they have to go through at least 40 hours of training to be able to help volunteer and support sexual assault survivors. So you can come to Rape Victim Advocates or other rape crisis centers, there's more than one in the city of Chicago, mm -hmm. and uh, become trained and then volunteer time at a hospital. So like I mentioned earlier, we work with 14 hospitals. We do not do that alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes many volunteers and supporters to be able to go into the hospital on a 24-hour basis and help other folks um, that are experiencing sexual events. So that is a big part of our volunteering. Um, I, that's wonderful. And another thing that I can say, through the Illinois Imagines project specifically, um, you can also volunteer time. Illinois Imagines is an open group. So okay. anyone can join. We meet about once uh, for two hours every other month. Um, and anyone can join that group and just voice their opinion um, and see what they can do about sexual violence in their own communities. And that's uh -huh. a bit more open. You don't need 40 hours of training right. to be able to participate and just say, well, you know what? I am a parent. I work in a, a, a social service agency or a community group, and I want to bring this information to my community, to my group, so that we can all become more aware with the signs, the symptoms, the response. So I think that's another great way. Volunteering is wonderful, but also um, just... Uh, having conversations right. is where it starts. Yeah, because sometimes you may not be ready to volunteer and put in that commitment, but kind of like understanding the scope and Absolutely. the people involved um, is a great way to start. We also have volunteer educators, which is another opportunity for folks if they think, you know, going into the hospital is too intense, which mm -hmm. it is, can be very intense. Um, if, you, if this is something you feel like you'd be great about uh, communicating to other folks, we have right. opportunities to become an educator and uh, talk to this, uh, talk about this in your own community. Absolutely. So I want to pull up uh, Rape Victim Advocates uh, information. Wonderful. And um, that is Rape Victim Advocates. Uh, rape Crisis Hotline, 188-293-2080. Uh, uh, and the main hotline is, uh, I believe that's uh, RAIN Hotline, 1-800-656-HOPE, uh, H-O-P-E. Uh, rape Victims Advocate is located at 180 North Michigan Avenue, Suite 600, Chicago, Illinois, 60601. You can reach them at 312-443-9603. And um, you can also email them at info at rapevictimadvocates.org. And visit their website at 
rapevictimadvocates.org.